<laughs> There's a basket going on. Otherwise it'd be some Arcon sponsored time. Emergency. <laughs> In the helicopter, joining three other guys on a scenic, so reduces our fare a little bit. It's always good. Across the lower bush. Our flight was 7:45 a.m. Flying up the side of the valley above Franz Josef Glacier, which has receded massively in the last eight years. Drops about 1500 metres. Jamie, the pilot, doing a good job. It's the broken part of Franz, so it drops down from the Neve Bowl at the top. Stunning scenery. And there's the divide ahead. really is the only way to arrive at an Alpine hut. Into the Neves. And do a quick circle. To gain height up to Centennial. Centennial on that ridge. In the middle of the screen, the hut, and the landing just above, which can be achieved when there's low winds, as there was on this occasion. Centennial hut. Franz Joseph. Franz Joseph Glacier Neve. Helicopter City up here today. On this first day we were scoping the route. Up towards the minarets, up that slope there. Just currently in the cloud. our target for tomorrow morning. It doesn't look too bad getting to the bottom of it at least. Just got to negotiate the uh, slope up to the minarets. There in the sun. Nice afternoon. Nice little trudge, bit of st sticky snow early but it's probably about 1pm now. has to be said it is slightly unusual for Lawrence because normally he's got a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, head back to the hut then and uh, play with the ropes or something. Lovely. Drink tea. See how we go tomorrow. <laughs> it's a bit worrying when the only other person in the hut is reading a book about butchering people. Hopefully I'll be alright. See you in the morning. Tasman Sea. Our route. Pretty thick snow blown over last night from a south easterly. Made pretty slow going, some patches really, really thick snow, you could hardly get any further further forward progress. Here's Lawrence demonstrating just that. The 
big sections like this. About halfway up the slope in front of him we then managed to get on a hard ice dome. A little bit steeper. Here we are. Much easier going though. A little bit more interesting. And then we're up on the plateau. Arguably the best view in the Southern Alps with all the 3000 spread out all around you. Beautiful day. We are finally made the plateau just under minarets, which are there. Don't know what that one is over there. Oh, that's Lawrence. And Delabesh. View across the Tasman. Multi Brun. Just down there a few hours. Tasman between Delabesh and the ridge. Really deep snow most of the way up. Anywhere between knee and bloody thigh depth. Quite hard work, yeah, has to be said. Ah? Uh? Sun cream is really hard. I believe the right hand one is the highest. Which indeed it is. And here we are. Just heading up to the last section onto the summit. At 3,040 metres of the higher minaret. Lawrence stood on the top. Awesome view, Tasman Saddle beyond. Ready to Bowman on the left, possibly the next target. And then looking back towards Cook along the main divide. Tasman Glacier and Multibrun and Hamilton across the way. Tasman yeah. Saddle again. Just getting ready to head down. We were on top 9, 9.30 after a 03.40 a.m. departure from the hut. Quite slow going in that snow. It's quite steep drop-offs on one side but not too exposed as the other sides fell away to the coal between the two minarets. Down towards the terminal lake in the glacier of the Tasman. And the other minaret, slightly lower at 3,031 metres, that we head to next. too cold on top, there's a breeze but it wasn't too cold. We didn't loiter too long. Concerned a little about the snow on the slopes on the way down. Slightly different perspective, pointing out 
up some of the mid Canterbury peaks there beyond the Mount Cook ranges above and beyond Tasman Saddle. Cirque that you end up in. Mm -hmm. 